It was around 1850, the middle 1800s, when the buffalo start being wiped out. So when the buffalo became scarce, instead of letting our form of pictograph writing, record keeping, die out, we transferred it to paper. And individual warriors would go into combat. If they lived, they would come home and they would draw what they did in combat. Well, with Swift Dog, he was a, a North Dakota tribe. I think it's Standing Rock Sioux. In this instance here, it would be probably attacking his crow enemy, capturing horses, capturing people, capturing weapons. He wants to come up close. The crow shot two arrows at him and missed him, representing the Standing Rock Sioux has power, spiritual power, to deflect the arrows to go around him. Here he's going to hit the crow with the bow and arrow, but the bow has a spearhead at the end, so he's going to take his life. Before the non-native people came, we didn't really kill each other as much in warfare. We would go and capture horses from our enemy to show them that I have spiritual power. I can sneak right into your home, take your horses, and take them back to my camp. And they're mine, because I counted coup on you, representing you took his his honor or his, his uh, spiritual power in his tribe. You absorbed it. It wasn't only about combat. I mean, even though it was a combat lifestyle and a combat form of um, society, that it was also loving and, and caring and caring for the elderly and providing for everybody in the tribe. I'm so proud to be a part of Ledger Art and its growth and its existence into the new millennium. This particular piece is Great Northern Railroad, and up top here represents mountain designs representing the Glacier Park area where I live. Over here represents Snotusi, the sun god. Down below is the train representing the iron horse, the changing of time, but this is a Blackfeet conductor. He's driving, so the Blackfeet are in control of their own destiny now. It's up to them what they're going to become. Down below is a ledger, a Blackfeet cash disbursement journal. And um, what it's d depicting is Blackfeet members of the tribe. So then you're getting into connections to my, my personal family and my tribe through this document. These shipping statements represent movement of the tribe because we're migrational. Follow the buffalo, follow the herds. And then the map itself would represent ownership of land or protecting your homeland. Down below are rolling hill symbols. These are puff balls that represent stars. In a Blackfoot's genesis, we believe we interact with people from the stars, so we put them on our ear flaps of our lodges and in our designs. And Morningstar was the main star being, gave us our sun dance healing ceremonies. So on this particular piece, I wanted to start showing the changing from living in the 1800s and, and wearing the straight up headdress and wearing the split horn bonnets, and, and you're, you're changing, evolving with, with the time as it's moving forward. He has a modern hat. The floral patterns represent healing, but the stem is coming down to his head, so it represents he's the root, he's the source of the power through Crater Sun, the moon, and morning star. Then this is a weasel captured when it was brown. He would have probably had a dream, a vision, try to capture the power of weasels. They're a pretty feisty little, little being, so it would also be here, weasel hair, and here because you want that warrior power, that spirit power. Again, it's going back to living in physical world and living in the spiritual world, blurred in and out. Changing of times, moving forward, but never forgetting who you are. 